Um, what I'd like to do is just talk about our year events and some of the things that have come out on our, uh, some of the work that the uh, Public Affairs Committee has done for AMCF uh, this year. Um, I've been chairing the committee for about three years and, and you'll see uh, there's been a sort of a morphing of some of the issues that become prevalent over time. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about some of the things we've done this year and some of the things we've done for the membership as we've gone through. The Public Affairs Committee for AMCF, this is just a quick purpose statement. Of our job is to identify, evaluate, monitor, and address public policy issues that affect our industry. Um, and, you know, we're not a highly regulated industry, so perhaps we don't always think that there are issues out there, but sometimes there's a number of them. This year we were addressing professional service tax issues, uh, the California AB 730 legislation, which I'll talk about, conflict of interest issues for HR firms, uh, visa immigration issues over time, and federal taxation legislation. So it, you see there, there are things that are, that are really going on um, in our industry sometimes that we're trying to pay attention to. The first, the uh, professional services tax, over the years, as uh, states lose revenue or looking for other revenue generation opportunities, they are um, looking sometimes to the professional service industries. Um, uh, the last few years, some of the states have been fairly active, and to date so far, all of them have uh, not gone this way. They've all been repealed or the legislation has never passed. Um, a couple of states to watch currently, California, Georgia, Maryland, and Arizona, um, these states are, are actively looking at these opportunities and, and they, they contained uh, in professional services definition a, a, a broad brush, whether it's computer services, um, it could be lawyers, accountants, consultants, so forth and so on. Um, I'll, I'll talk just a little bit about the, the Maryland one because that's where I'm from and it was, it was pretty near and dear to our heart this year. Um, Maryland, state of Maryland had a, about a $750 million deficit projection going into 2009 and was looking for, again, some, some revenue generation opportunities. Um, thank God slots passed. <laughs> Um, so they, uh, they kind of backed off of this. They did have a referendum on the ballot um, to bring slots to the states because um, slots were illegal in Maryland and now they're legal. So um, that will be making up a lot of the, uh, the, the deficit. Um, they imposed the 6% sales tax on all professional service organizations and the law did pass. And in July it was repealed. Um, it, it, it was repealed in two stages. First it was on every professional service organization and then that part of it was repealed and it was just on computer service firms. Um, and, but the definitions were very, very broad. Um, and so everybody started having to put a, a, seven, a 6 percent tax on, on uh, you know, whether they're selling your product or actually a service they're repairing your computers or they're doing programming work on a contract basis. Um, there was a, an interesting clause in the Maryland uh, uh, law which was of interest to us because we do a lot of federal government work. Um, uh, federal contracts were specifically mentioned um, and it required a 6% tax on every federal contract and you had to pay it the day you signed the contract. And if you know there's thin margins on government work, 6% um, is a lot of money. Also, because the federal government is a sovereign entity, you cannot tax them. So you cannot pass the tax through. It comes out of your hide. Um, so I work very, very hard on getting this one repealed, and uh, we were successful. But again, it's something that uh, it's important for all of us to pay attention to because they do rear their ugly heads from time to time and, and we've been uh, fairly successful in working with other organizations as well, uh, chambers, working with um, 
accounting associations uh, and the lawyers and things to get these things uh, uh, pulled back. But they keep coming up, and I think that's the message to you. Uh, watch your states, because they, these things keep popping up as states are looking for other revenue generation opportunities.